In this video, we'll be learning about .NET MAUI Google Maps and here you can see the iOS 2 has a Google Map and the Android 2 has a Google Map with custom pins. So in this project, uh, that is a new blank .NET MAUI app, we'll be creating uh, the custom pin implementation plus the Google Map on both Android and iOS. So let's get started with the blank .NET MAUI app and uh, let's get uh, uh, this Google Map uh, get integrated. So I'll just uh, select the new .NET MAUI and we'll be selecting .NET 7 or 8 that will come along. Okay, so here uh, maps demo as a project name okay so uh, let the project name be maps demo and at first we'll be uh, using this plugin that is maui.google maps so we'll be copying it uh, in our project so uh, here i'll just select manage nuget package add the plugin name maui.google maps okay so we'll be selecting this option make sure that you have included pre-releases because uh, the latest is the greatest so here i'll be adding the uh, latest .NET maui google maps uh, in our .NET maui project so here i'll just select iphone 14 pro before uh, that i'll make sure that application is running fine on ios okay so uh, at first what we need to do is we have to configure our uh, uh, google maps uh, on our google cloud console so we'll just select this option and uh, i'll make uh, so please make sure that this does not require any type of credit card in integration or anything at first whenever you log in then you need to create a, a new project and here uh, this is a maps demo project right uh, i'll just keep a maps demo app 101 okay so just give a project name as you like okay and uh, here i'll just select this maps demo 101 project okay so here uh, it has asked me to install all the other plug um, other uh, plugins that are essential for our maps uh go that is our google maps so i have just uh, accepted it let's go to the project so here this is the uh, project that i have just now created that is maps demo 101 inside our uh, api and services uh, what we need to do is uh, let's go to the credential section okay so the blank .NET maui app is running let it be okay so create new credentials the api key okay so here uh, we'll just create a new api key for our project okay so it is creating the api key i'll just uh, use this api key uh, whenever i need it so i'll just save it somewhere safe uh, over here so that i can use it later okay so you can just uh, if you are lost then you can see here uh, the show key section will show you the api key you can just copy it anytime okay so the main thing that you need to understand is uh, the new account does not require uh, maps sdk for android and map sdk for ios does not require any type of billing information to be added or anything okay so you have to but you have to make it fast okay so here you can see map sdk for android you can just search also and it maps sdk for android okay so you can just search search and match map sdk for android will also come over here just go and enable it okay and let it try it, let it try to enable it go back okay and match the sdk for ios okay just search it for search it for and map sdk for ios will just enable it okay so now uh, it will uh, try to uh, like add both map sdk for android and map sdk for ios but it will uh, uh, now okay so when i try to enable it the ios section okay so it has already added but it will tell me to add your billing information or anything don't add anything okay google cloud console so that is the project google cloud console okay so here you can see in our uh, api and services okay so this is our project that is maps demo 101 and library uh, we have already installed google map for android okay so here i have i will enable it okay so it has already been enabled okay let, let's go back okay so make we have to make sure that uh, both the uh, android as well as ios uh, um, the map sdk are enabled so i have confirmed that both the things are enabled right now okay so <clears throat> now go back 
okay so this is our api key right so we actually don't need as of now but uh, let's try to configure our platform at first okay so this is the plugin implementation so here uh, this is the code that need to be added that is metadata or data or something like that right so we'll just add that code over here inside uh, platform android main active main application inside here beside this okay so you just uh, you, can create, you can create a new uh, constant uh, file also and then add it directly or you can just uh, hard code over here also it depends upon your use case okay so i'll just hard code it and you can just use some constant uh, class and then uh, try to directly inherit it okay so it depends upon your use cases so here inside android manifest uh here just search for location okay so access find location access course location okay so that is uh, only needed and then uh the next thing that we need uh over here is uh the uh, maui site that is this implementation that is the builder section i'll just copy it i'll just paste it over here okay so here you can see uh whenever i add user uh, use google map then this uh, uh using statement has come up automatically okay so for the ios side we'll just again hard code it okay and then paste the same api key that we have uh, uh, saved it so that is it so ios side is also done android side is done okay so this is the blank.net maui app so we don't need anything over here and in our mainpage.xaml.cs we also don't need anything over here okay so let's try to okay so here is the code uh, mainpage.xaml here i'll just use this code okay all the code i'll be giving in the video's description below you can just add it okay um so you can take it so add xaml maui.google maps so here uh, we have successfully added the google maps and now uh, the on appearing method so uh, i have already written code for our custom pins also okay so that is whenever this page is appearing then do what need to be done okay so this whole code i'll just copy it and then paste it over here so what i have done i'll just uh, tell you um, so whenever that's this page that is main page is appearing then we will be requesting for permission that is our location permission and uh, we'll be getting the getting the user's latitude and longitude and uh, we'll be moving our map to the that uh, specific latitude and longitude plus we'll be adding a custom pin okay so that pin uh, is a custom one and we can just add the label text address or anything you can make it dynamic too and here uh, we'll be adding the pin image so the pin image shouldn't be uh, used with the extension that is if it is png dot jpg or anything don't use that okay so inside our desktop uh, this is the pin that i have that need to be added to the resources folder images okay so this is the pin and make sure that the pin is uh, of small size that is uh, here you can see uh, open with a preview okay so this pin is 32 by 32 pixel size okay and uh, uh, you have to make sure that uh, the pin is uh, uh, like in the get information here you can see uh, our uh, image is the uh, dimension is 32 by 32 so you have to make sure you are using some limited size images that is 64 by 64 pixel or 32 by 32 something or 16 by 16 images okay so that is it so the pin is made and then add it and then here you can see check and request permission is going to request uh, the user's uh, permission so we have already added the permission for android okay so that is access course location as well as access find location is already added then on our ios side there is something else to be added so here uh, in our custom property group uh, we'll search for privacy location or uh, location uh, uses description when in use dis uses description okay so location when in use okay so this privacy and uh, location uh, information should be added with your text that is like why this app uh, needs uh, uh, why this app needs location okay so um, so you can just add your text over here why this app uh, requires location either to paste the users nearby or something like it. you can just add it of your own okay over here and that is it close all the tabs 
save and close and i think we have pretty achieved everything so let's try to run the project and let's see whether it works or not on our ios and android project okay allow while using the app nice okay so we got our the latitude and longitude and uh, the uh here the pin is also set okay so that is it now uh what we need to do is we need to check on the android side too okay so i'll just try to see it in simulator means the emulator whether it works or not and it is telling me something like uh a compatible version of minimum uh, 21 to be used okay so here on our android manifest.xaml okay so here the minimum android version i have to set it for uh, 21 okay that is android 5.0 minimum android version and let's see whether uh, we get our uh, expected output or not on the android emulator while using the app nice that is it so thanks for watching so keep in touch for our next tutorials